what is health information system you must have visited a health facility at least once in your lifetime for yourself or for a patient there at the time of attending you might have noticed that the name of the patient is entered is noted down in a huge register or into the computer along with the diagnosis obviously at that time you are too worried about the treatment part and you don't bother but once the patient is cured and leaves the hospital happily you might be wondering what happened to that information that was entered in the register the registers are filled up and are stacked what is the use of that information it's not like that at most places this information is entered for each and every patient per day per week for months and years but these registers are not just filled and stacked this information is analyzed weekly or monthly depending upon the system on that health of that health facility and the data is transformed into reports wherein there is a now total number of patients per week in that week which mentions that what percentage of patients opd patients presented with respiratory system what percentage uh, presented with abdominal symptoms what percentage were diagnosed as dengue fever what percentage had typhoid what percentage were given just antipyretics what percentage were given were prescribed antibiotics what percentage of the patients who attended opd were admitted what was the average number of hosp- days spent in the hospital before discharge and so on so the huge register is converted into one or two page monthly report or weekly report mentioning such data and this report is not just kept in the health facility it is submitted at a higher level let's say to the district level the district level will further concise the reports from various hospitals in the district into a single report of its own that is the total number of patients that reported to various opds in the district by combining all these reports this is further sent up but why what is the use the use of this information is once this information is used in deciding what are the more prevalent symptoms in that particular area what are the more prevalent diseases in that particular area and accordingly the specialists are appointed in uh, area wise depending upon the prevalence of specific health situation the drugs the medicines are given more for those particular conditions and lesser for the less prevalent conditions and so on so this information is comes in handy for planning the health system of that place unless we know which diseases are more prevalent in india and which diseases are more prevalent in the western part of the world we would not be able to plan the number of specialist and the amount of uh, which medication should be produced more in which country so this is information is vital for health services so health information system is just this for improving the efficiency of any health system there is a requirement of relevant timely and accurate information on its current performance and the purpose of health information system is to provide this information it is a management tool so what you saw at the hospital your name being entered into a register was a part of health information system health information system may be at various levels for one single hospital single district state national level and international level we just discussed health information system is defined as a mechanism for collection processing analysis and transmission of information required for organizing and operating health services and also for research and training now collection is what we witnessed what you witnessed processing is what you don't witness you just leave the hospital happy and cured but it is being processed into monthly reports these monthly reports are analyzed charts are prepared and so they know which into a meaningful information 
and this meaningful information is transmitted upwards and downwards from the centers from where the information was sent also so that they know the relevant data and sometimes this information is also used for research purposes. What are the objectives of health information system? Why do we maintain such an uh, elaborate system of recording, keeping and analyzing and transmission <coughs> the data? First is early detection of suspected outbreaks. If we are monitoring the incidence of select diseases every month, we can detect an early a peak early and this lead to timely initiation, timely detection of an outbreak and timely initiation of control measures and hence this helps in reducing the number of cases and the number of deaths during an outbreak. Second objective is to monitor the <coughs> trend in health status of the population of the local population. This will detect any changing healthcare priorities that is initially we needed to have medicines and specialists more for infectious diseases that is decades back and gradually lifestyle diseases have increased to such an extent that we have to have a program for that we have to have specialists in lifestyle diseases so monitoring the trends in health status and accordingly planning the health services this requires age and sex and cost specific data for uh, knowing the health status of the population to provide relevant up-to-date information for health managers at all levels that is those who plan those who evaluate and back those who generate the data so that they can also take any action if required at the local level to provide at periodic intervals data which can be used for evaluating the effectiveness of the program running the health services are useless unless we evaluate it at periodic intervals so as to see whether the programs are running efficiently and are they achieving their purpose or not difference between data information and intelligence data is what is collected directly from the field it is discrete observation of uh, or observation of patients or events these carry little meaning when considered alone that's uh, those registers stacked up are of little meaning it is collected from uh, the healthcare systems or institutions and as such is inadequate for any planner it has to be first transformed into information for the for that purpose second term is information data is transformed into information by reducing them and summarizing them into monthly and weekly reports summarizing them into tables graphs line graphs and adjusting the data for age and sex composition of the population then the data becomes information. It can convey some information to the reader. What percentage of patients were hospitalized? What percentage of patients needed antibiotics? What percentage of patients were with lifestyle diseases, etc. Third is intelligence. The information is put to good use by making inferences. That is what can be the reasons for this change or uh, what has happened, what went wrong where or what went good to result in this situation. The example of data is number of patients per day in OPD. That is individual names, their diagnosis, their prescriptions is the data. Information is the monthly reports where you analyze according to the percentage of uh, symptoms, percentage of patients who were admitted and percentage of patients who were prescribed antibiotics, percentage of patients who had lifestyle diseases. This is the example of information. Intelligence is that uh, we combine the effect of information and our common sense and our experience. And we deduct that since this particular thing was introduced into the, let's say, since... Uh, 
since me- uh, he, the big eatery was uh, opened in the village, lifestyle diseases, a few years after that, lifestyle diseases have started increasing. So maybe that may be the cause. So that is, this is inter- an example of intelligence. Data turning into information and information turning into intelligence. Data which is not transformed into information and information that is not transformed into intelligence would not be of any value. Requirements to be satisfied by health information system. Just haphazardly recording the patient details in huge registers does not constitute health information system. For the health information system to yield any meaningful information and intelligence, it has to satisfy certain criteria. And these are, the system should be population based. That is, the information should come from the individuals of the population. Best obviously would be the uh, household level, but mostly it is generated from the peripheral health institutions like sub-centers, primary health centers and then higher up. The system should avoid unnecessarily accumulation of data. If we note too many details of each patient, there will be information, there will be data, data overload and the bare minimum data required for assessing the health status and planning the health services will be buried somewhere in that data overload. So one should avoid the temptation of recording too many details and thereby avoid the unnecessarily agglomeration of data. The system should be problem oriented that it one should recognize the local uh, health problems and data should be recorded to keep a record of these especially these health problems. The system should employ functional and operational terms. For example, the person who is recording in the register or uh, making com- an entry into the computer are not technical people mostly. So the terms should be which uh, they can understand easily and thereby make the correct entry. For example, epi- number of fe- episodes of fever, treatment one, Regimen, treatment regimen 1, regimen 2, regimen 3, that is not the drugs in the regimens, what drugs are given to the patient, we can say which regimen is given, so they can record regimen A, regimen B, regimen C, etc. So it should be operational terms, that is terms that can be understood easily by the field workers. The system should express information briefly and imaginatively, that is once the data is collected it should be transformed into information and which is easily understood by the planners like tables, charts, line charts, percentages in a way that conveys the meaning of uh, the data. And the system should make a provision for feedback feedback of data that is those who are generating the data and analyzing the data should also get a feedback of the final analysis and final intelligence that was generated. That is uh, that there is an increase in number of lifestyle diseases and the probable reason is the new diet that has been introduced in the village should reach to the grassroots level also those people who give the feedback so that they also know the local problems and take action at the local level. So a system of feedback of data from higher level to the lowest level is an important part of health information system. components of health information system. We discuss about how unnecessary details should not be noted down but some the bare necessary details which need to be noted down are the components of health information system. So following should be included in any health information system. Demographic and vital events, environmental health statistics, health status that is mortality rates, morbidity rates, age specific, sex specific morbidity rates, mortality rates, cost specific mortality rates, disability rates, etc. Health resources, that is the number of health facilities, sub-center per, uh, what is the population served by one sub-centers, number of beds per thousand population, number of doctors per thousand population, doctor population ratio, nurse population ratio, etc. That is the health resources. Utilization and non-utilization rates of healthcare services, that is the attendance, OPD attendance, percentage of OPD attendance, admission rate in hospital, waiting lists, etc. 
indices of outcome of medical care now this means the effect on the population due to their encounter with the healthcare system for example cure rates and uh, again the satisfaction rates of uh, people with the healthcare system of the country life expectancy so different outcomes uh, are defined for different uh, areas for different countries and these indices need to be recorded need to be calculated and recorded financial statistics the cost per uh, immunization the percentage of gdp spent on uh, health care for in last 10 years etc uses of health information system if we have a well functioning health information system with the requirements uh, fulfilling the requirements that we just discussed then what are the uses the system can be put to the foremost is to measure the health status of the population and to quantify their problems health problems and the medical and healthcare needs for comparison of the health status of different states within the country of different area areas within the states and from country to country comparison obviously for this comparison the data needs to be standardized and standardization would be discussed in another lecture third use is for planning the health services this planning would require the first that is the health status of the people effective management of health services for that is for monitoring that the opd is serving the expected number of people every day and uh, the cure rates etc fourth is for evaluation of health services that is periodic evaluation for assessing whether the health services are accomplishing their objectives or not and for detecting any deficiency if there are any fifth for assessing the attitudes and degree of satisfaction of the beneficiaries satisfactory satisfaction rates of the population and finally for research into particular problems of health and disease this research may be required for uh, the degree or maybe research pure research as such the utilizing the data which is routinely collected through health information system the research is also possible